Well, hello, hello, and welcome back to Games Revisited, episode 13. And we're continuing our playthrough of Chrono Trigger. We've been traveling through the distant future and the apocalypse that is 2300 AD. Um, still sufficiently far enough in the future, oddly enough. Although the disaster at 1999 apparently didn't come to pass, but that's another thing entirely. And um, I've been getting some excellent feedback on YouTube, and I, I, I wish I could figure out how to pronounce the name. I, I can recognize the sight of it. Um, so please, please, please do, do give me a pronunciation guide for your name so I can give you appropriate credit on uh, next week's episodes. Obviously, since uh, you don't seem, uh, I don't think you're watching live. I think you're just watching the YouTube videos. Um, you're not going to, by the time I get the comment, it'll be, I'll have recorded this week's episodes. So uh, do give me a pronunciation guide because based on your feedback, I want to make one quick backtrack. So let us load our game file. And instead of going through the derelict factory to get the power on, to get Protodome squared away, and all that good fun stuff, we are going to go back to the sewers. I had originally skipped it because it's one of those parts that you go through much, much later in the game. And... Oh, are you just going to let me... Uh, can I, oh, I didn't want to race. I just wanted to go and get to the other side. Okay. Um... Can I, can I beat you again? All right. I'll explain what I'm doing as soon as I'm done racing. And <laughs> that, that was not exactly what I wanted to do, but okay. Come on. Come on. Beat him again. Beat him again. Hit him. All's fair. All's fair in Mad Max future. Ooh, don't get cut off. 50... There we go. All right. Okay. <laughs> so you, you're not technically supposed to go through the sewer until much later in the game, but in the sewer, um, I'm going to abbreviate the name V because I don't want to mispronounce it on air. Um, <laughs> I don't get it. You can challenge me anytime. Oh, ride the wind. <laughs> Pro, bro, he's so fast. He came in dead last. Oh, I forgot they did that. Hey, you're not bad. Came in dead last. Hey, you're not bad. All right, good. All right. So, um, yeah, you're not supposed to technically go through the sewer until later in the game. And that's to get to the continent down there that you can kind of sort of barely see out of the bottom right hand corner of the game. Um, but in the sewers, there is a sword that if you go now, it'll increase your attack power by five. And you can also enable some shortcuts so that way it's not quite so bad later. Eek! Outsiders! Better report to Crawley. Uh... In the NES version, he was listed as Sir Crawley. Just a fun bit of trivia. Okay, uh, let's see. I want to get lost. That's right, I want to pick this up first, grab these guys, and get what's in the box. Let's just try regular attacks first. See how quickly that dispatches them. because I'm cheap and I don't want to burn magic points if I can help it. Hmm, this might not kill them all quick enough. We'll see. Hit points are surviving pretty well. But, um, yeah, so I, I definitely want to get the upgraded sword now while the opportunity is available. And this gives me a chance to bump up the levels just a little bit more. It was something I meant to do yesterday in the off time. Just kind of grind up the levels a little bit. Um, the only problem was uh, I needed to finish the coffee craft project that I had started on uh, Tuesday's live stream. Ooh, we got some new text too. I'll have to check into that. And 600 gold is also always nice. Just saying. 
Uh, I've never heard somebody say that. Yeah, you know, it's nice, but I I, I just didn't need the 600 gold. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, combo. Or a beam. There we go. That should... That is still the trippiest heal I have ever seen. Okay. Because here's the problem. <laughs> and this is why I chose uh, Marley instead of Luca for my traveling companion here. I, I get so wrapped up in what I'm talking about. I kind of lose track of the hit points. And uh, I, last I checked, that's not good. Not, not if you wanted to keep surviving. So, uh, yeah, we're going to take the opportunity to level up because I didn't get a chance to yesterday. I was finishing up uh, the Coffee Craft project and oh, what's this? I mean, aside from the ADD theater. <laughs> there is a bridge here. I saw it. I swear. What, it got up and walked away? Don't you lie to me. There is nothing here at all. But it's true. Someone's coming. Let's scram. Thank you, Square. Last I checked, hints were supposed to be subtle. I mean, I'm not complaining. But, uh... Let's see, that was those guys. Then we gotta get them down here. Uh, yeah, there's no way to get around that. It's just... What, are we gonna stand there and talk about the... <laughs> this place is a tad on the spooky side. Thank you for that insightful comment. All right. Um, and here's where we find out there's a diary here. The final entry reads as follows. I'm through. I can't take any more of this. The fishmen attack if I make even the slightest noise. If I knew things would be like this, I'd have taken the guillotine any day of the week. I think I'll go out with a good, loud scream. See how the soggy freaks like that. So the idea is that if you're trying not to uh, fight too much, you, you can uh, avoid anything that makes noise and skip a lot of battles. But right now we're all at level 10, 11. Matter of fact... Um, Okay. Uh, I guess I can't change party members here. I'd have to go back. All right. Well, Luca's going to get her, her plenty of uh, usage in the very near future, so... Okay. I was hoping I'd be able to change that. Um, but, because part of the objective for... You see, like, you skip that cat, and you don't have to worry about a fight, but since I need the XP to level up... We're going to go ahead and go to the cat and get these guys. And... Come on, Robo. Combo. Combo. Supersonic spin. Bam. Get them all. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was quicker. I, I guess I'll just burn the magic points. Because <laughs> that was, uh, yeah, that was a lot easier. Oh, but I probably ought to go to the consumables. I got 24 potions, so I guess I can spare a couple of those. Let me get him up to full health. Uh, it's going to get him close enough to full health. Five, six, seven, yeah, and that'll get her up to full health. And same deal here. You you can walk around the noisemakers and you won't have to do a fight, but since we're trying to, you know, get some XP. All right, Robo. Any day you want to get your stuff together. I'd rather not sit here absorbing hits. These are not infinite hit points. Although Marley's got enough magic. Uh, um, man, Chrono took a walloping on that one. 
Uh, he's right back to where he was right before I healed him up. All right, so let's just go Tex. Let's go Marley. Let's go Aura. Bam. Okay. And that's why I have Marley, because uh, I get to yak in and I kind of lose track of hit points. Hello, Rhett. Wham. Get them all. Huzzah. <laughs> okay. There we go. Um, and in addition to getting the XP and the levels, well, hopefully level. I don't know. Where Where is that going to leave him on? Uh... All right. Yeah, another 238 to get Chrono up to 12. Robo will be getting up to level 11 by then, and then Marley's got a way to go before she gets to 12. So they, they might not make the level, but it'll be close enough that... Uh, oh, that, that's right. That's a fake save point. Good thing I was trying to trigger fights. Come on, Robo. Let's do this. Bam. Kill them all. One shot. Wham. Gone. All right. Found 300 gold from the sea monsters. Because reasons. Don't think about it too hard. Ah. I know. Now I'm just needlessly burning through magic points and Robo's just about out. Oh, no bridge there either. Um, and of course the lights reflect oddly on my map. I need to go back up and there we go. Isn't that my switch? Maybe not. Alright, this one. Yeah, there's the switch. That unlocks that door, and... Nope. Oh, that's it there. I thought there was more to it than that. Unless that's the switch I need over there. That's probably the switch I need over there, which probably means I need to come back through this way. And since we're already 13 minutes in, I'm actually going to, as much as I want the XP, expedite things by skipping these battles this go around. All right, that bridge isn't there. That bridge isn't there. Where's the switch? Hmm. Yeah, I thought that was supposed to make the, uh... I thought that was supposed to make the bridges appear. Short-term memory something or other. Alright, skipping the battles in the interest of time. I'm going to try not to go long like I did all last week. It is kind of hard, though. I have a lot of fun playing this game. Alright, so nothing there. I've already gone through here, and... I flip that switch.
No, nothing there. What am I missing? That's where he come up. Oh. I'm missing that walkway there and that door there. Very googly moogly. Maybe I need to have coffee instead of water. <laughs> Looks like you just have to press the switch and the bridge will extend across. So switch it on already. Can't reach it. <laughs> and you call yourself a frog. Someone's coming. Let's scram. All right. Round and around we go, and we pick up a rage band. Ooh. What does the rage band do? The rage band grants a 50% counterattack rate. That means 50% of the time you are going to do an automatic counter-attack. So, right now I've got a Strength Glove. What's Robo got? He's got a Guardian Bangle, which increases stamina. Uh, and his attack is 39. His Strength is 21. My Strength is only 22 with an attack of 40. So the attack's going to drop down just a little bit. Hmm. But... I'll do 50% counterattacks. Let's give it a shot. See how that goes. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Waltzing through the sewers like they own the place, huh? Must have had a death wish. We'll teach him a little respect. Yes, yes we will. Just let them come through here. They'll be chopped liver, pulverized. Won't even know what to call them when we're done. Ha 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 ha. He 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 he. Har 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 har. Maniacal laugh. Maniacal laugh. Are we going to kick into the battle or do I get a chance to... Yeah, I forgot to heal before I walked over there. I thought it was a little bit further down. Oh, uh, well. All right, let's... Uh, go ahead and do a wind slash on him. Let's go ahead and do a rocket punch on him. And let's do a heal on Chrono. Because he about dead. Oh, that didn't help that much. Uh, cure Beam on Chrono. Aura on Chrono. That should get his hit points back up. I hate that I'm burning that many uh, attacks, but... <laughs> and there he is. I remembered him being easy, but I forgot that he was easy enough that uh, you could manage it this early on. What I'm trying to remember is where was that? Uh, it's a bolt sword in one version and a thunder sword in the other. I, I forget which is which. Maybe it was after Crawley. But uh, while I'm thinking about it, let's go into the inventory. And... Mid ether restores 30, ether only restores 10. Ah, let's see if we can get the rest of this till we can use a shelter. There's the thunder blade. There we go. So, about that drop and attack, we're back. Bam. 
And now we've got some bridges that'll make this crossing easier. Uh, if I remember right, there's not much we can do over here just yet. Because Death Peak is... <laughs> do you want to go fight the end boss battle right now at level 11? You too can die early by going to Death Peak. <laughs> and I want to say that you can't get into the Keeper's Dome just... Oh, no, you can. It just doesn't do you any good. Oh, yep. No. Nope. Because uh, he... Yeah, we're going to talk to him. Ala. Oh, I've missed you so. No, you mustn't go to Death Peak. Wouldn't make it very far anyway. It has to be the right time, and and it has to be them, or the way is shut. Yes, yes. Hey, have you seen my masterpieces? The Ocean Palace and the Blackbird? I designed and built them both, you know. Fine works, wouldn't you say? Yeah, so there's not much going on here until we get a little bit further in the game. So we will be making our way back here. Mm, is it later? I mean, technically it's the same time. Ah, time travel. And there we go. Now we've just gotten through the short way. All right, while I'm thinking about it, let, um, let's go to the inventory. Let us use a shelter. And let us save the game. Just in case anything untoward happens. Oh, I guess we gotta race them every time. I thought there was a way to just jet across without racing them. Or maybe you gotta walk. I don't wanna walk. Although it's not like the race takes that long. I just hate doing the mini game thing. And, and tonight, as far as the live stream goes, we will uh, we will definitely be heading back there later for reasons. Want to know why? Stay tuned. Especially on the live... Oh, he beat me this time. I got so wrapped up in talking, I kind of lost... Oh. <sighs> Let me just walk. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Alright. I guess that's our option. <laughs> you gotta beat him in the race across each time, unless you want to fight a lot of fights and walk, and due to time constraints, I don't want to do all those fights. Uh, due to XP restraints, I definitely want to do all those fights. But, uh, oh well. That's the way it goes, right? There we go. Yeah, it's about 20 or so yards, meters, feet, inches, whatever it is that they're measuring in that left, in the top left. That uh, Yeah, about 20 or so you want to hit that booster and you should beat them every time. You just got to kind of stay neck and neck with them as you go. Come on, spoil sport. All right, so... Now that we've got a better blade and we set up a shortcut for later, we need to go through the derelict factory and finish up uh, what's next. But uh, let's go ahead and save on this side. All right, now, in the interest of time, this is where I'm going to go ahead and switch to the credits and say... Thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching live on Twitch or Mixer, hang tight. 
There's still more to come. If you want to watch live, I stream Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. There's a link in the description below to Mixer and Twitch, and I simulcast to both of them via Restream. If you haven't already, follow in Twitch or Mixer to get notified when I go live, and definitely subscribe to the YouTube channel. It helps the channel out, and you'll get notified when episodes and other content gets posted, because I do more than just games revisited. So, live folks, give me a minute to uh, do the swing, scene switcheroo and get ready to uh, insert my cut points. And YouTube folk, I will see you tomorrow. Ooh, gotta find the right button. <laughs>